Just hours ago, Russian forces began their attack. Kiev might soon fall to Russian forces. The Russians will take control of Kiev. Within 24 hours. These rugged trucks are a long way from central Florida, winding the roads of Eastern Europe to get to a war zone. In that convoy, Peter Duke is part of a group bringing these trucks and supplies for their fight against the Russian invasion. I believe what's happening here in Ukraine is worth the support of the free world. People are very resilient. They're moving on with their life and doing the work that's necessary. They don't just throw in the towel and like, oh, please, will someone come help us? They are very vigorously involved. I am an accountant. I really believe that this war was important and needed to be supported. I run a company that makes sustainable packaging. I was actually the first Estonian YouTuber. I'm a Ukrainian volunteer. I supply COVID medics. I think it really brings life into sharper focus when you've got that kind of calamity going on around you and everybody is part of the solution. I just committed myself to raising as much money as possible and trying to get as much equipment in as I could as an individual. I want to give thanks to emergencykits.com for coming through. Our convoy will pop the 290 truck number. We ask in the community and Charity Fund 69 Stephen Brigade to provide us pickup truck for our combat missions. It is very different than Iraq and Afghanistan. There we fought an insurgency, here we're fighting an actual army. It's unimaginable for the Western people. What I see up there are people's lives. But the Russians actually attack the families. I hope that now everyone understands it's only death that they bring to this world. If we let Russia take Ukraine just because of their imperialist visions, then China and other countries will see this as an opportunity and will think, OK, they can do it, we can do it as well. So we need to stop it here. There's no other option. When Hitler invaded Austria, what if someone had tried to stop it? Maybe he wouldn't have killed six billion Jews. Right. History is made every second. Yes. And there is two choices. We are helping to make the history. Or we are watching this enveloping and one moment basically waking up in the world which we would never ever want to be part of. Save Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. Oh!